Hi, James Gurney here. I want to show you how to make a device out of simple household materials, including egg timers, that takes your GoPro and allows it to shoot time lapse that has both a tilt and a pan movement. So it can move up and to the side. So you can get shots like this. What we have here are two kitchen timers. This one's mounted vertically for a tilt move to go up and down. And the one that's mounted into goes laterally for a pan move. So the combination of those gives you a compound move that both pans and tilts however you want them. So let's get started. First, let's look at another example. This is tilting upward as I start the painting, and then it shifts to diagonal, and then it goes to a pan left move. So we're getting that complex movement by just combining the two movements. And you can see it here in time lapse. The camera is tilting upward and then panning left. We can also actually move the camera back on a dolly. First it goes up, and now you notice the camera is pulling back from the subject. It's actually mounted to a small dolly cart on a little dolly system being pulled back by a Lego motor. Here's what it looks like on the Lego dolly. And then here's the Lego motor pulling them back. In a future video, I'll show you how to make the Lego dolly system and also the motors that are geared down to work for motion control. But for now, let's focus in on this two axis egg timer motion control system for turning the GoPro camera. So let's go down in the workshop and I'll show you how it's made. Now, the first thing I did was to take the GoPros out of their outer case. And since I'm not doing extreme sports videography, I don't really need that waterproof case. Uh, I know this exposes it to a little more risk, but as long as you're careful with it and watch the lens, it's okay. But what this does is it allows me to use uh, a custom mount that I made, which will fit onto any standard tripod. Uh, this is a piece of aluminum flat stock three quarters of an inch by one eighth of an inch, bent in a vise, and then I drilled it out and put a T-nut in here. The T-nut is threaded on the inside with quarter to 20 threads, and that will fit into anything, whether it's a gorilla tripod like this, uh, or a clip mount with a little ball joint holder now the inside surfaces of this little C-shaped uh, holder um, have these padded furniture sliders, felt furniture sliders, uh, mounted on the inside. And that gives a nice soft friction mount to the GoPro. Uh, and the bent aluminum piece has to be spaced so that the inside measurement is just a little tighter than two and a quarter inches which is the standard size for both the GoPro Hero 3 and the earlier Hero 2. With this mounting system, uh, the camera can be held in not only right side up uh, this way on a tripod mount, and it can, be, it can be tilted up or down, but it can also be held in upside down. Uh, and I'll show you in a minute why that's really helpful. The next thing I needed to build was a similar mount on the top of this IKEA egg timer. This is a cylindrically shaped uh, timer and uh, it turns a full revolution in an hour. So it's one revolution per hour. I screwed this into the top and then put these padded felt uh, pads on the inside so that it'll hold the GoPro. And then on the bottom surface, I got a piece of plywood and then mounted essentially a um, T-nut on the bottom. I actually used a brazed um, brass nut uh, that I, I sort of soldered onto a piece of copper, but you could just use a T-nut, which is easier, and then glued that to the bottom of the IKEA timer. And then this way, uh, I can mount this thing directly onto a tripod, uh, or I can mount it upside down onto the bottom of a 
camera extension bar. This extension bar is just simply a piece of plywood with a wedge-shaped piece that fits, in, fits into the quick-release plate of my tripod. And by having it upside down, the rotation is the reverse of the normal rotation of the egg timer, which gives you the chance to do a pan in the opposite direction. Now, taking this thing off again, all we have so far is a system for turning the camera, panning the camera laterally, either right side up or upside down. But what I wanted to do was to combine that motion with a tilt movement. So what I did was I got a piece of wood the same size as a GoPro, two and a quarter inches long, and then made that so that uh, it would fit right into the space that was normally occupied by the GoPro. And then onto that, I got a wind-up unit from a uh, regular wind-up timer. You can easily unscrew the back and take it out, and then drill out the aluminum stock in such a way that it fits the keyed uh, end, the drive unit, um, on the end, the working end of the timer. And then I glued that timer onto the piece of wood using a two-part epoxy called Magic Sculpt, and that firmly holds it in position um, so that I have that. Now just to uh, control the balance a little bit better, I also got um, a screw, a long uh, machine bolt, and then attach that into the opposite side. And I'm using here a skateboard wheel as a counterweight to counteract the weight of the, the whole unit. So now I can mount the camera either forward or backward, right side up or upside down, front or back, um, or right side up or upside down. And each one of those different combinations creates a different combination of movements. Do one more. Start camera. Start smoke. Start two, three, four. Good.